FISMA is now law. And so with FISMA compliance, audits become a central point of compliance, right? As a food and beverage professional, you are obviously concerned not only about following the law, but making sure that the compliance steps are there to protect the product, protect your consumer, and ultimately your reputation. There's always this danger with compliance, with a compliance mindset, instead of the checking the box mentality. And you know, it's like, we just don't do stuff. Or we check the box and then we try to get away around it. And that's not what you want. What you want to do is you want to think about it from a risk management point of view and ask yourself, what could I do now that would minimize my exposure down the line in a way that the trade-off between opportunity and risk are understood, obvious to everybody, and then can be justified um, in the decision process. That's the goal. That's why you need to kind of look at what are the kinds of technologies out there that can ensure regulatory and safety compliance. One of those technologies that are emerging that you can take advantage of is remote video auditing. Instead of having the guy with a clipboard coming down and saying, okay, I did these seven steps, what if you take those seven steps and you have remote video audits where on a different shift, at a different time, you sample and do the exact same checklist. And then you monitor and say, are they complying at this shift? Are they complying in this plant? Are they complying at, in this process? To have a proactive process in place not only decreases the risk of an adverse event occurring, but it also allows you to tell that story should a problem occur by pointing out that you have had these gold standards in place. Sur surveillance technologies certainly play a huge part uh, in certainly the documentation and us demonstrating to the regulators uh, what efforts we've made, uh, as well as certainly the, the intent of the investigation process if something does occur, the ability to go back and identify where the risk was, where the incident occurred, and hopefully who was involved in it. The whole internet has opened up to a whole world where you can remotely view your operations. Not only remotely view it, but you can have someone actually remotely view it and then make sure that you're doing what, you're, what you said you're gonna be doing. So you can do a remote audit. And what's really nice about this is it layers nicely back with the, the FISMA requirements that you're gonna to have to prove this stuff up. So you'll be able to save that test and you'll be able to save that view and then go back to the FDA and say, okay, not only did we, uh, did we test it, here's the results of that test. The other thing that's gonna help with the, the entire electronic solutions is that you will be able uh, to prove that you've made changes. A video is great for that. So, you know, Mr. Uh, FDA inspector or, or Ms. Uh, FDA inspector, here's what it looked like two months ago as a result of something we found, here's what the look is now, and here's the differences. So you can prove that up, that you are actively, or you, you are being actively engaged in your food defense program.